Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers it's super late at night um, but uh, I don't know something I was called to the table you know so I'm, I'm shuffling the decks and the Queen of Cups comes out I'm like I better do the Cancer reading right? <laughs> Anywho, Cancers, this is your uh, your daily love update, right? Um, this reading is for the collective, so it's not gonna it's not gonna be for all of you, okay? So please just take what does resonate, and leave what doesn't, okay? Don't try to force it into your world, right? And uh, thank you, Cancers. Thank you so much for all of the love, all the love, man. Thank you so so much. The likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, it all means so, so much uh, to me and, uh, and, and growing this channel, man. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, on the bottom of this deck, I've got communication coming, okay? I've got you up here, beautiful, with this beautiful love, the Queen of Cups. Um, you know, the love that's in that cup is worth everything that no one loves like the Queen of Cups does, right? Your MO is love. And then um, here on the bottom of this deck, you're masculine. Wow. <sighs> yeah, he's pretty fine, Cancer, right? Um, yeah, you recognize this person? <laughs> anyway, this person ha definitely has their eyes on you. I feel like um, all of their thoughts are on you. And we've got the Ace of Cups here um, and a, a completion to the cycle, okay? Um, this is a Divine Masculine once again, right? Uh, pretty ripped here. See? Look at that. He's cut. Yeah, Cancer, you've got some sexy hot guy, right? Um, and guy, girl, sorry, man, it's not gender specific, but I'm just looking at the pictures. Anyway, this is your divine masculine. They're cleaning something out, clearing out any negativity. I feel like, um, there's a karmic situation that's either coming to an end or is at an end. Um, they want to, they want to have a talk. All right. Get on the same page. Hopefully come back together and have a reconciliation, all right? Because this is a soul contract here, a spiritual union. It's going to lead to happiness. You know, you guys could even be writing a, um, a story about this. It'll lead to, to a project, I feel, that you guys will work on together. Um, but, you know, it's really, you have free will. Use your discernment. I don't even know about this person yet, man. We just got started. But, uh, yeah, they do want to talk, and they want to come back. Um, this is your masculine, and this person's really cute in this picture. Okay, this is somebody that you've been waiting for. That's what I feel like. I feel like straight up you've been waiting for this person. You've been waiting to hear from this person. You've been waiting for them to take some kind of action. And they're getting ready to here. That is their intent. To clear out the negative energy cancer and come in and talk to you about getting back together. Yeah, I feel like um, this person was very upside down and uh, kind of tied up in a, in a different situation. But with the cleansing card out here, I feel like they're going to clear out that energy. All right, what else can you show me for this person? Clarify this. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, boy. I feel like um, this is the person who you could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, this person, they're going to tell you they want to get back together, reconciliation, but I'm seeing the player card here, Cancer, and a Queen of Wands. I feel like um, maybe they played you here. They're very immature, immature communication. Yeah, fire sign. Could be dealing with um, a Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius here. What, what is this person's intent for cancer now? What are they what are their intentions here? Juggling. 
they have someone else i feel and it could be a sexual relationship as well um this other person could be a fire sign because i'm seeing you up here as the queen of cups um so i feel like this is this person could be juggling in a lot of regret here though wanting to try to make amends um I feel like they're upset because you haven't been talking to them, but they're dealing with someone else here. They're dealing with the Queen of Wands. Who may be deceptive. Either way, this person is juggling here. Darn, I had such high hopes for that person. They're in a lot of regret. They are going to communicate Maybe they, um, they went and had player energy, picked up a, a, a queen of wands, right? Had in and out energy there, right? This person goes in and out, in and out, in and out. Very, very immature. Either that's you or them. I mean, you know, this queen of wands. You or someone else. Very immature communication, though, this masculine has. And they're juggling. They're juggling. They're juggling the memory of you and your love. Um, I feel like this, here's the thing, you know. I feel like, yeah, this person may be a player, but they're, they may currently be with the Queen of Wands right now. Now, the Queen of Wands does her own thing, and she's not going to play any games with people. So if this person does have any kind of immature behavior, know that the Queen of Wands is not going to put up with that crap. She's not going to waste her time. She's not going to play any games. I feel like in a lot of ways with your nurturing here, you are, you're much softer than whoever it is that they're with, okay? Um, you ha you're much more loving. You're much more nurturing. And that's what this person misses, I feel. That's what they miss. You know, and they're very sad that they turn their back on you. This was like, uh, this, this, I feel like this was a third party. You, them, and this, this feisty, fiery uh, Queen of Wands here. A possible fire sign. That person could have been very deceptive with your person as well. It doesn't look like there was any love there, for sure. There's no love in, the, in these cups at all. They only got their love from you. They only got love from you. That cup, that cup there. And it's like once you get the... Once you get the love from the Queen of Cups, there is no other comparison unless you get yourself an Empress. And Cancer, you're an Empress and a Queen of Cups. So, you know, this person, they're in a lot of regret. They, they played around, got some uh, Queen of Wands here. Juggle both of you because, honestly, they can't forget about your love. They could have been deceived here by this queen of, queen of Wands, and there was no love there in that situation. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you, but um, I think it's because they, well, they, they played you, went with the Queen of Wands, and I feel like they may have gotten played. And now they want to do anything that they can to change this around. But this person has excellent manipulation skills. Okay, I'm feeling a high degree of manipulation. In and out energy. Immature crap. And I'm not saying that they haven't learned a lesson. I think they are learning a lesson. But, um, you know, I still feel like there's a degree of manipulation here. They're going to try to do anything that they can to change this. You know, they want that love that you offered them before. They want that love that they had a taste of before. And um, 
you know. I feel like this person, though, they're, they're, I kind of feel like this is selfish energy, though. They may not tell you some things. They may not want to, you know, they want to change us, but they may not be completely open with you. They may, like, not want to talk about things, not want to share things with you. I, I always feel like this is selfish energy. And here you are, a healer, right? Possibly in the public eye. You know, you're keeping your moves hidden. I don't think you're talking to this person, and I think they're holding back a bit from you, too. Um, and here you are in the public eye. You know, you see what I'm saying? They, I feel like they don't like that. Because you're not speaking to this person, but yet everyone can see you, and you're shining like an absolute star. Um, yeah, well, they can see you. They can see you. Your person sees you, and they see you out there being a star. You're absolutely beautiful, too. You're beautiful, and they realize that through all of this, and that beautiful love you gave that now it's come to the point where you've kept your moves hidden so much that they don't really even know you and now you're out there as a star and they want your love that really breaks them that breaks this person i'm telling you heart oh heartbroken angry jealous because you're intuitive you're following a divine path. Yeah, that breaks them. That they barely, I get the feeling like, uh, yeah, um, now I'm just someone, or now uh, you're just somebody that I used to know. What's that song? Um, that's the song I'm hearing. Now I'm just somebody that you used to know. Yeah, they don't even know you anymore because you don't you don't let them in. You keep your moves hidden. You haven't had a reason to talk to them. They chose someone else over your over you and your love. This is all things that they're thinking about. They know if they come and talk to you. This is these are the things that they're going to need to discuss. And I feel like through it all, you've, you've been so graceful about all of this. You've kept your mouth shut. You know, the high priestess, she doesn't say anything to anybody about it. Right? You're very intuitive. And with the star out here and the high priestess, you, you could be doing something intuitive. You know, spiritual healings, a spiritual teacher in the public eye, leading, guiding others with your intuition. All right, it's a beautiful, peaceful, healing energy here. Yeah. This person, they're, they're, they're angry, they're heartbroken, they're jealous. They're crumbling. They're crumbling. And you're out here just shining like a star. Brilliant. Yeah, this person really wants to talk to you, though. Um, it's like they feel crushed, you know what I mean? But yet at the same time, they're angry and jealous and envious, and they're just, they're just angry. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, and they've got that passion, you know? Um, yeah. Truth, you're moving forward. You're leaving the scene. This is you, the chariot, getting in that beautiful, fancy golden chariot, Cancer, and riding your pretty butt right on out of here um, into having a victory, right? Having a victory. This is, you know what? I've, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm cutting this out. Okay? I'm cutting this out. Uh, and... Um, I'm moving forward. 
with my life. I'm taking control. I'm taking the reins of this thing. I'm taking charge of my own life. I feel like they can see you leaving the scene. They can see you following a divine path. It's completely shaking up their world, Cancer. Okay? And, and a lot of emotions are coming out for your person here. Watching you move forward, being intuitive and a star, when they pushed your love away, knowing it was the best love of all. Well, yeah, their world is kind of crashing right now because they know that... Uh, you you would they'd be happy with you yeah that was on the bottom of the deck they treated you like an option they treated you like an option i feel like you may have other options coming to you too yeah you're walking directly into them you're walking directly into new options i feel okay so you're you're and you're standing in your strength and your power. You um, you are in control of all of your emotions, right? In in emotion, like you're you have your emotions under control, and you've like tamed the beast here. So you've tamed the beast and the beast within. You see what I'm saying? You're you're dragon, not dragon, walking this lion around by a leash, holding your head up high. You've got courage. You've got backbone. You're like an alpha. You're an alpha, Cancer. <laughs> right? And because of that, a new beginning is coming. To, you're going to be stepping into something very, very abundant here. Very, very abundant. Yeah, your person, whoever this is, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, any fire sign. I'm feeling heavy on the Sagittarius, actually. Um, and there's another feminine energy involved that could also be um, a fire sign, but not necessarily. Okay, what else can you show me? Yeah, this person wants to reunite. It's a reunite my car. They, they know they can build something solid with you, and that's what they want. But how do they reach you? You're too strong. You're too strong, and you're moving forward too fast, right? And you're, you're, you're very intuitive, and you're a star. But this person doesn't know you anymore. They don't know you anymore. Oh... That's like a kick in the gut. Ooh, it kind of it kind of sucked the wind out of me. They don't know you anymore. That's and that that sucks the wind out of them too. This it's all of the above here. Like the worst feelings imaginable, really. Kind of. Well, almost. Heartbreak, betrayal, third party situation crap. Tower moment, devil energy, envious, jealousy, anger, frustration, feeling cheated maybe even by the universe, um, regretful, sad, remorseful, but watching you move forward and them not even knowing any you, they, you not even knowing them anymore, them not knowing you when you gave them such great love. That's a kick in the freaking gut. That's a kick in the gut, man. Yeah, they're going within because of all of these emotions. They need to sort that out. They need to take a good look at um, how they treated you and how, how it transformed the situation, okay? Because I'm honestly, from a cancer standpoint, the transformation was really actually good for you. You know, you chose the right side of the coin, right? But but your person, not so much. They're seeing all of this. They're seeing it all, and they're watching you leave, and they're watching you be a star. And you, 
you kind of slip further and further away from this person every day because they just don't know you anymore. Now you're just someone that I used to know. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, what do they want to tell you? What does this person want to say? They have to, they have to take a look at their behavior. Uh, cancer, I feel like you're like, that's fine with me, man. I'm good. I'm good. You know? Uh, and you really are. Your love is still intact. You're just being very protective of it. Okay. Um, you have new options that you're moving towards. You're, you're still handling this with grace. You have some kind of stardom and uh, healing intuitive energy here. And you're moving forward with like um, a lot of power. All right. So I feel like you're good. But your person, not so much. They're heartbroken. Jealous, envious, angry. Hindsight's 2020, I guess, huh? Okay, bottom of the deck. I'm in a karmic relationship, but we sleep in separate beds. Yeah, they could still be with this queen of, queen of wands here, um, but they may not sleep together, okay? They could, this, this particular person could be clearing this energy out altogether. Um, what else does this person want to say to Cancer? What does this person want to say to Cancer? Yeah, they, um, now, now I'm just someone that I, or now you're just someone that I used to know. I'm pretty sure that's your song for this reading. And that's what it feels like to this person. Even though there's, it's like you, you have a lot of people watching you here in the public eye, I feel. Okay, all these little stars. See all those little stars, Cancer? Each one of those is a person that watches you. And it's almost like, see how, how your arms and legs are hidden in the shadows? Your moves are being hidden, okay? And you're intuitive. So it's like there's so many other people that almost seem to know you better than they do. And they, you loved this person once. They loved, or they at least you thought they loved you. You gave them love once before, and now they you, they don't even know you now because they've been with the karmic. Yeah. When I let you go, I really effed up. Just saying. Hindsight's twenty twenty. When I let you go, I really effed up. That's what they want to say. What else does this person want to say to Cancer? That's too many. I smile when I remember how you wanted nothing to do with me when we first met. <laughs> I don't know if that's for you. It's for someone out there. Um, that's too many cards, though. There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog Day. There's no passion because they're they're passionate about you, Cancer, and you've pulled your energy back to focus on spiritual things, your spiritual journey, your soul, soul work, soul work. So you're focused on yourself and doing soul work. You're not focused on them anymore. I feel like yeah, they're 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 thinking about all of this. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Capricorn, Scorpio, um, that's you, Cancer, this is you, Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, any fire sign. Um, heavy Sagittarius is what I'm feeling. Capricorn, more Virgo energy. So heavy on the Virgo and heavy on the Sagittarius. Yeah. All right. 
Um, what do I want? What advice? Let's get some advice for you, Cancer. What advice for Cancer? Stay tuned till tomorrow, right? That's because <laughs> I'm with you every day, right? Honestly, the energy changes very subtly every day. Boy, around the eclipse, I thought I was going to lose my freaking board. Um, the energy was so chaotic and all over the place. Um, I, I picked up on a lot, of, a lot of readers that were having a really hard time just keeping up with the, with the changes and the shifts, right? Um, it was awesome. But yeah, your energy changes subtly every day. This person here now, they're deep in thought, knowing exactly. Uh, when they let you go, I when I let you go, I really effed up. Yeah. Right? Okay, what advice do you have for cancer? Yeah, you're having a victory, cancer. You made it through um, a really tough cycle, and uh, now you get to enter into a whole new cycle. You're moving forward, you know, being a healer, having this beautiful, balanced, gentle, um, peaceful energy, a guiding light, really, um, and a lot of faith, a lot of faith. Some of you could be pregnant. Um, during this time too, you may, um, uh, you're, you're, you could be very, um, fertile. Let's just say that fertile, right? So keep that in mind and it is cuffing season. So be aware of that guys. Um, but yeah, I feel like though, this is more like you birthing ideas, right? Working on projects, manifesting. You're manifesting, you're creating, you're co-creating with the divine. Um, I feel like your advice is to just um, keep moving forward here and manifest. You know, go easy on yourself, get the rest that you need, um, eat the right kind of food, drink plenty of water. You're birthing something new, uh, whether it's a baby or a project or just a new beginning. Okay, um, you need to nurture it, right? So, yeah, I feel like um, your advice, have faith. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your manifestations. Have faith in your power, Cancer. Um, yeah, I feel like a new beginning is coming your way. Ooh, an abundance. Yeah, because you're releasing something from the past. See how you release this is all energy. You release that like your burdens, right? Let them go. Um, imagine them being like sent above, right? Into the universe. And then they're transmuted. That energy is transmuted, transformed, and sent back in the form of whatever it is that you're manifesting, right? That you actually want for yourself in the new cycle. Because you're about to be very abundant. But try not to hold on. Look at how she's holding on here. Try not to hold on to the old dark things that are dead. Release them. Feel like that's what you're doing and you're focused on your abundance. I feel like the divine is just, look at you like snow white here. Um, for real, you're very in touch with nature and animals. Wow. Like, I didn't notice that about this card before, but yeah, I mean, you, you even have a monkey over here. So what is that? Is that a pig? Anyway, <laughs> you've got all kinds of animals all around you here in this picture and a ton of abundance, just life, 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 right? Look at all the life. This is what you create, okay? You're breathing life now with your manifestations. You're breathing life into your new cycle. Um, just remember to release. Try not to hold on to see how she's hanging on to all of these old dead um, weeds. Try not to hang on to that. Release that energy out into the universe. 
right? Because abundance is coming for you. You're, you're um, growing something here. Okay? You're growing something. So nurture you, right? Nurture you and um, get out into nature. I feel like you're at peace around nature, like in the woods. Maybe take a walk or something, you know? But, yeah, manifest your little heart out, Cancer, because I'm telling you, abundance is coming, a whole new life. You're getting a victory. You're on your way to a victory. Why? Because you're putting beautiful energy back into the world, man. That's why. All right, guys, I am going to take this into the extended. I'm going to look a little bit more into this hermit heart and see what all your person is going through on the inside, okay? Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, there is a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that will take you right to my Patreon. Um, but Cancers, know that I love you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps and I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel and help me grow, right? And um, Cancers, know that I love you. Until next time, take care of you. Peace out.